finally guys i would like to encourage all of you out there that you have a wow <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone first of all i want to thank all the alter Co family who've been listening to our songs and also for the love that you have shown for the song forever changed till this day i receive a lot of testimonies about how this song has served as a vessel as an instrument towards god's glory and some have said that it has brought peace and calm during long weary nights well, some have testified that it has reminded of the worth in Jesus Christ and for which all the glory and all the praise belongs to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So on the morning of November 12, 2021, I was cleaning my living room with a broom in my hand. And at that moment, even when my hands were occupied, my heart was still having a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And in that moment, I remember a hum that came to me and I began to follow that hum and the words undeserving came to my ears and at that moment there I felt a stirring in my spirit in which God was like he, like he was going to do something and so I left my work I went to my room and I grabbed my guitar I grabbed a paper and a pen and then I began to pen down and I began to start worshiping in my room and that was when the song just supernaturally started pouring everything from the beginning till the end so there is this Bible verse in the book of Psalms, which says in Psalms 30 verses 11 to 12, and it says, You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. And so in the year 2016, there was this revival going on in my local church. And I was just a young kid there. I was in the front row. And then at that moment, that was the first time when I felt the tangible presence of God in my life. And at that moment, my legs, just the strength just filled my legs. And I shot up and stood involuntarily. And at that moment, I began to cry and tears started to fill my eyes. And during the moment of the preaching in that revival in my church, I looked down at my Bible, I held my Bible open like this, and I looked down at my Bible, and this was the verse from Psalms chapter 30, verse 11 to 12, that really spoke to me. And so when I was writing the song, and I went to the bridge, and as I was writing it, I remembered this moment, and I decided to put that in the bridge. Initially, the song wasn't meant to be out there. I used to keep uh, sing the song to myself, I kept it to myself because the lyrics for me are very raw and very personal and um, I didn't refine any of the lyrics in the song, I just wrote it as the Lord had given me in that morning and so I thought it was not worth recording but we had this one fellowship where uh, my brothers from the same team we were gathered and we were sharing our original songs and the songs that God had blessed us throughout the different seasons that we had gone through so they were sharing the songs and I was also inspired and they requested me to share one of my originals and since I had that song um, I had this moment of reflection where I thought like, okay, God gave me the song for a purpose. It's not to be kept hidden. So I went forward and I sang the song um, for them. And at that moment, they encouraged me to go ahead with the recording. So during the recording process, God had given me a very specific vision about how the entire mood or um, the dynamics of the song would be. So I didn't want anything loud. I just wanted it to be it to be simple. Um, and just a meditation between you and the Father. So the song was um, made as it, as it was envisioned to be. This song is very close to my heart, just as the cross of Jesus Christ is. And I always see myself as someone who never deserved the sacrifice in the first place. And so this song encompasses how my life took a complete return when Jesus came in and I was forever changed. Forever Changed was written from a place of spontaneous worship. It was inspired wholly from the scriptures and from the cross of Jesus Christ, which reminds us that we all deserved the wrath of God, but He chose to take our place and save us from eternal damnation. So this act of love is so great that our hearts cannot remain silent. I would like to end this video by encouraging someone out there that if you have any songs that God has given you through the course of your life, not to hesitate to share them, sing them for the glory of God. And also for the listeners out there from the Elders and Go team, we'd like to thank you so much for your constant support and prayers. We've been hearing so many testimonies of listeners who have been tuning in, not only within Nagaland, but also from India and from the Northeastern states. Thank you so much. Uh, keep listening, keep sharing, and we will see you in our next video.